and worship him honor him it's true to his word it's true to his word Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You deserve our praise. You deserve all praise and adoration. There's none like you. There's none like you. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you to this very special praise and communion service. And it's the very first one this year. And the Lord has given us a very beautiful year prepared by God. Prepared by God. And during this service, we're going to be singing songs of praise to the Lord as we've already started. And remember, in praising the Lord, you're actually ministering to him you're actually ministering to God and there's nothing as beautiful as ministering to God it is the very first and best assignment for any saint of God and so what we do today is important not only to us to God and think of the fact that even angels recognize this moment a very special moment indeed we will have several songs and in a few of them we'll be sitting and several others will be standing but at times we will have sessions of prayer. But the prayers that we pray today will be prayers of praise, prayers of thanksgiving to magnify God. And of course, later on in the service, we will break bread drink the cup in remembrance of our blessed Lord Jesus Christ at this moment you may be seated and Pastor K will be reading scriptures to us from Psalm 113 verses 1 to 9 and right after that we'll take the next set of songs beginning with holy and righteous followed immediately with holy the first one is choral and Nisi will lead us in the next one God bless you praise the Lord thank you so much father sir thank you for this wonderful opportunity sir Psalm 113, the Passion Translation. God is kind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. All you loving servants of God. Keep it up. Praise him some more. Hallelujah. For the glorious name of the Lord is blessed forever and ever. From sunrise brilliance to sunset beauty. We lift up his praise from dawn to dusk. 
For he rules on high over the nations with a glory that outshines even the heavens. Man tori lebra. Gezonske provision shelebra hastasia. No one can be compared to you, God. Enthroned on high. He stoops down to look upon the sky and the earth. He promotes the poor, picking them up from the dirt and rescues the needy from the garbage dump. Mante le crustons le gracia. He turns paupers into princes and sits them on their royal thrones of honor. Hallelujah! God's grace provides for the barren ones a joyful home with children. So that even the childless couples find a family. He makes them happy parents surrounded by their pride and joy. That's the God we praise. That's the God we praise. That's the God we praise. So give it all to him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Holy and righteous. We'll be sitting.
Thank you, Lord. Great King of all, why don't you just lift your hands and thank the Lord and just praise Him. And that'll be followed with a lot of hosts and matchless name right after.
Prince of Peace, the brighter morning star. I glorify your name.
Your name is so powerful, Lord. As the strongest of our names, Lord Jesus. Your name, at the mention of your name, demons flee, storms are still in your name.
is the highest of only. Stand up wherever you are and just talk to the Lord in prayer. Thanking Him from the bottom of your heart. Open your mouth and speak words of praise to God. Words of praise to God. Thank you, Lord. Reverend Ray will lead us in prayer as we remain standing. Oh, precious Father, we worship you. We adore you. We love your name. Thank you for that name has been highly exalted. The name has been exalted above all names, above all authority and power. Lord, we praise you. We glorify your name. Oh, thou art exalted. You art exalted above the heavens. Exalted. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for loving us. Oh, thank you, Father. Yes, that love is so wide, it covers everybody. So embracing, it includes all. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness to us, the sons of men. Thank you, O Lord. Thou art exalted. Thou art gracious. You are, you are, you are. It's not like you. We lift our hands in praise, in adoration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, oh God, for loving us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for granting us the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship your holy name. Thou art exalted in our midst. Thank you, Father. We love you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Our next set of songs will be done standing beginning with your name is higher treasure will lead us followed by never enough with Sylvia you're amazing with Lena Green leading us and then no God greater than you Rura will lead us and that will be followed by unto you we lift our voice Pastor Saki will lead
There's power in your name. There's victory in your name. Lord, we bow before you. Your name is above all. It's so great. Your name. There's power in your name. There's victory. In your name. Lord, we bow. Oh, we bow before you. Your name is above all. Lord, your name is so great. Your name is strong and mighty. There's power in you. There's victory in your name. Above all, holy God, your name is great. In your name, all things are possible. You're the mighty God, your name is great, and your power.
Show the 
Jesus. It's unto you, unto you. Believe the voice, the breath of life.
out and praise you speak words of praise and thanksgiving magnify God just go ahead and speak words of praise and then just the instrumentals just the instrumentals everyone praising God Sit down for a second.
the scriptures give us more than enough information on God's relationship with us and how he defines his role as God, as Lord, as Father. And in each of these roles, he expresses himself differently. He also wants us to know what our role is and the various roles that we play for respect to him, his kingdom, and to one another, and then to the world. In all of this, he expects us to praise him in every single role that we play. That's amazing. That's amazing. The primary reason for a church gathering is to offer praises to God. The number one reason is offer praises to God. That's the first reason, primary reason. We come together as God's people to offer praises to God. For a long, long time, that seemed to take a back seat. But that is changing and is changing fast. We're recognizing our role. It's changing fast. You know, when we live according to God's plan, we can enjoy the fullness of his blessings. The Bible talks about the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. One can walk in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. And the very fact that that expression is given to us in scripture is to let us know that one can walk in much less than the fullness of such a blessing. And truly, if we look around us and think of many of God's people that we have known and related with over the years, you would know that there are many who were not living in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. Some didn't even know that there were such blessings. Some heard about that, some read about that, but most have never known what it is to even walk in such in a closeness to that at all much less living in the fullness of it but before christ comes back the church of jesus christ will be walking in that glory and that is happening very quickly because the knowledge of god is increasing around the world he said, it will fill the earth with the knowledge of God as the waters cover the sea. Right now, we're going to stand up and praise the Lord again in the next set of songs. The first one being, Lord, you're beautiful. And Oge will lead. Immediately followed by, to the ends of the earth.
Maya leading us. And then Oge again will lead with, I hear the sound. Then Pastor Saki will follow that with Heavenly Father. And then Maya will lead with, you sit above the cherubim. Shall we stand up now?
To the great I am. 
Blessed be your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Holy is your name, Lord. Honor to your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Holy is your name, Lord. Honor to your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Glory to your name. Holy is your name. Honor to your name. Blessed be your name.
just pray in other tongues, speak in other tongues, pray in other tongues. Speaking tongues, just pray in other tongues. Don't stop, just pray in other tongues. is Danielle Kanyeta and you are specially welcome to the Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris Impact Report News. There is an unprecedented stirring of waters and the world is getting ready for another season of marvels and wonders from Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March. The upcoming edition of the program will be three iconic days of an unrestrained flow of God's power, liquid love and compassion unto all men in every city and continent of the world. Stay tuned for more exciting reports on the Healing Streams Impact News. I'll be right back. Gotten your supernatural package yet? 
Imagine a 7-in-1 divine masterpiece all wrapped up with supernatural blessings and testimonies just for you. It's the Healing to the Nations magazine. Elevate your spirit through teachings from Pastor Chris. Rejoice in the supernatural with the featured testimonies of healing miracles. Relive special moments and events from the healing school. Be inspired by miraculous stories from around the world. Scan and watch inspiring testimony videos. Declare words of faith for healing and health with faith proclamations. And discover healthy living tips that will improve your health. You won't want to miss this. Get your copy in print or e-format. Much more. Sponsor and distribute copies of Healing to the Nations magazine globally. For more information on sponsorship and distribution, please use the details on your screen. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. There is a great deal of excitement among the people all over the globe. Expectations of the March edition, 2023 of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris are soaring and many have commenced earnest preparations to partake of the extraordinary grace and power of God that will pour into the nations with healing and salvation. As you may recall, three distinctively outstanding editions of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris were held in the year 2022. These events rained manifold miracles and healings and restorations upon those who connected from around the world. Ministers of the Gospel also experienced extraordinary promotions with undeniable outcomes in spiritual and numerical growth. I have some callers waiting on the line to share their experience of previous live healing services and their preparations for the upcoming March 2023 edition of the program. Hello, Apostle Delio. We are so delighted to have you join us today on the Healing Streams Live Healing Services Impact Report News. Hola, Daniel. Hello, thank you very much for the invitation. Please share with our global audience your experience of the 2022 Healing Streams Live Healing Services and your preparations towards the upcoming March 2023 edition of this event. I want to thank Pastor Chris Yaquilom for blessing our lives and our nation, our city and ministry and all earth through his this huge event of the healing streams. Many people connected online from home in many places like Brazil, Colombia and other cities. We connected more pastors and leaders. Many people also received miracles. Our ministry has grown in faith and prayer. We are prolific church, prolific ministry who goes out and takes on the gospel. What was imparted in our lives, it's the same thing that we are doing in different communities, different places, and this has catapulted us to an extraordinary growth. Now, we are expectant about the next edition of the Healing Stream. We are going to prepare more with prayer, petitions, publicity, sponsorship, and preparation of the atmosphere. This is transcendental. We're going to fill the earth with miracles. We are going to expand in the last time to the extraordinary vision that God has placed in the heart of our beloved man of God, Pastor Chris. Thank you, Pastor Chris, once more for blessing us. Thank you for your love to Venezuela and the Ciudad de Dios. We are blessed and honored to be united with you and to be the expansion wave so that the healing streams reach until the end of the earth. Wow, thank you so much for inspiring many with your impact testimony and your preparations for the upcoming edition of the Healing Services. Next, we have with us Kanwal. Hello, Kanwal. Uh, hi, Danielle. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining us on the Healing Streams Live Healing Services Impact News. As one who actively publicized and set up healing and translation centers for the previous healing streams in your nation. Please tell us about the victories you recorded. Also share your expectations for the upcoming March 2023 edition of the program and your preparations. 
I feel privileged to tell you how God is moving mightily in Pakistan through healing streams. In Pakistan alone, we have different cities like Karachi and in Sindh areas, then also in Peshawar. Now, even in Lahore, we have different areas where virtual centers are set up. We have translators, they translate the healing streams and people are getting blessed. They receive the same anointing as those who are sitting there in person with Pastor Chris. And we have seen some mighty testimonies. These healing streams have played a very important role in expansion of our church and people and are increasing and our church is expanding. And with that, we also visit hospitals where there are Christian hospitals. We talk to nurses, orphanage centers and different areas, residential areas where we go and tell people about the upcoming healing stream. This is amazing how God is moving. I would, in the end, I would like to thank again Pastor Chris for giving me this opportunity so that I can share my wonderful experiences regarding Healing Steam and I'm grateful that we are part of GYLF as an ambassador and we are so grateful that we are able to do something for the Kingdom of God. Thank you so much Danielle for having us. God bless you. Thank you so much Kanwal for coming online to inspire this global audience with your audacious testimonies and remarkable expectations. God bless you. The outstanding testimonies and miracles birthed through the healing services with Pastor Chris bear witness to the unending dominion of our Lord Jesus Christ in the earth. Amongst the countless people who received their healings during the services is John Andrew from Colombia, who was healed of a leg length discrepancy for so many years at the November 2022 edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services. Let's hear his glorious story. My condition started 20 years or more when I was very young. Since I remember, um, I had symptoms in my body. I was feeling a severe back pain in the lower part of my back. So after so many years living with this condition, just getting used to live with pain, um, I couldn't like walk for a long time. So one day when I was like 32, 33 years old, I decided to go to the hospital to visit my, the doctor. And I, and I said to him, I'm, I'm very young and I'm, I, I live with a severe back pain many years ago. So I want to know what could be the reason. So I went to some tests, um, some scans, and um, after some tests, doctor said, um, look, you have one leg shorter than the other one. So that's why when you are standing for a long time or walking, um, you get back pains because um, now your, your legs are not getting you in equal position. So your back is getting like, um, it's not being straight. So that's the reason of your pain. Um, I heard about the healing streams, live healing service with Pastor Chris from my church. And when the man of God said um, to the global audience, he said, wherever you are, put your hand where you have a pain or you need a healing. I put my hands in my legs, in my back, and I prayed. At the final moment, when the program finished, um, I said, oh, I'm gonna check myself. And I looked at my legs and they were perfectly equal. I was shocked, I was dancing, I was rejoicing. The Lord Jesus Christ has healed me and I'm so thankful because now my life, I live it normal without pain. That testimony has impacted my life to give glory to Jesus to have a better, um, a better lifestyle without pain. And it has been a tool of evangelism. When I go out to, to talk about Jesus, to call people to join the Healing Streams Life Healing Service with the man of God, Pastor Chris, I show them my pictures and I said, I am, I am a testimony of this program. 
I got healed. So if I got healed, you can get healed too. So that's beautiful because that's how um, this miracle has impacted so much, not only my life, but those around me and in my city. Um, glory to God. Oh, glory. What an exciting testimony of triumphant faith. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Indeed, God has perfected all that concerns you. God bless you. This is still the Healing Streams Live Healing Services Impact Report News with Pastor Chris. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris is around the corner. Come Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March, the whole world will be enveloped by God's insurmountable healing power. As we all look forward to these three resplendent days of the miraculous, make preparations for your global impact. Join millions around the world in the prayer-thon and stir up tremendous power through prayers for the healing of the sick and the salvation of the unsaved during these services. Actively publicize the program through the organization and sponsorship of healing outreaches in your very own city and beyond with the Healing to the Nations magazine. Identify locations during these outreaches for the setup of healing centers. Sponsor the live broadcast of the services to cities and nations around the world. For more information on the upcoming Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris, kindly visit www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS or call any of the numbers displayed on your screen. The February 2023 edition of the Healing to the Nations magazine is out and it's brimming with lots of refreshing and exciting contents. Amongst which is the beautiful testimony of Grace Michael, who was healed of autoimmune disease. Remember to get your copy and read as well as distribute the magazine to those around you. The all new version of the Healing School mobile app is now available in the Love World App Store. Download it and start enjoying the new captivating features of this upgraded version immediately. Till I come your way again with another inspiring and amazing edition of the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris Impact Report News. Keep making prolific and global impact for the gospel. And God bless you. There is an unprecedented stirring of the waters and the healing streams are flowing again. It's flowing to every nation, every city, and every home. If there's anything that has been wrong in your life, especially in your body, God's peace can get a hold of your system and bring an end to the sickness that you have been going through. It's time for an unforgettable outpouring of the miraculous at the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris this March, from Friday the 17th to Sunday the 19th of March, 2023. God sent me to you to bring you His healing. That's why I can utter words from Him. And it doesn't matter where you are in this great world. As I speak those words, the disease, the sickness, the infirmity has no option than to leave you. This is your set time for a miracle. Register now at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS. For more details, call the number showing on your screen. The services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and on the Healing School mobile app. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. Your set time for your healing. Praise the Lord. 
I hope you're getting ready for healing streams, live healing services for the month of March. It's going to be a great one. It's going to be big. Because so many around the world will be healed. Their lives changed forever. And you know, today, being a very special day of praise, and for us to make this announcement about the healing streams, hope already is being disseminated. Hope. Many are receiving hope in this very moment, this very hour. They can see that they're going to get well. In spite of the condition, It doesn't matter that they had thought it was hopeless, but hope is coming now. Because in this very hour, in this very moment, you have angelic ministrations going on right now. This is a special moment in the kingdom of God right now. And for us declaring the healing streams to be taking place, the work of angels has already begun. So there's a lot that will happen throughout the world. Thanks be unto God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So plan for it, look forward to it. We will share more in details through the healingstreams.tv and also if you just go to the Healing School app, if you haven't downloaded it, do so. And you can get all the information that we want to give you on forthcoming healing streams. Now remember, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we have a live program, a healing streams live, and it's on all our networks from 4 p.m. So make sure to participate in that program. What is God telling us for this month of February. In the book of Abadea, chapter 1, and I'm reading to you from verse 17. The prophet by the Spirit said, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. If you would go to Joshua, chapter 14, we begin reading from verse 7. Here, the man Caleb was speaking to Joshua. Joshua had become the head in place of Moses, who had died. And he says to, he says to Joshua, 
40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, for I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now behold, the Lord had kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old, as yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, but to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great, and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kajat Abba, which Abba was a great man, a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Caleb, demanded that Joshua actualized the words that Moses, the man of God, had spoken concerning him. He said, Hebron shall be yours. But Hebron had giants. The Anakims were there. But because of the words of Moses, Joshua gave Caleb Hebron for an inheritance. He gave it to him. But the giants were there. And he said, if the Lord be with me, I shall be able to drive them out. And of course, the Bible tells us that he did and took possession of Hebron. What happened there was he converted the inheritance to a possession. It's one thing to have an inheritance. It's another thing to have it in possession. An inheritance can be allotted to you, but because of the giants, you are unable to take possession of it. But we just read Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverers, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. This month of February is the month of possession. 
and you will convert your inheritance to your possession by the power of the Holy Ghost. It was already yours, but now you will enter into it. Now you will take possession of it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every giant shall be slain by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every resistance destroyed, every barrier broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the man of possession. Give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Lift your hands and praise him and praise him and praise him. Take possession in the name of Jesus. That's what the Holy Ghost said. It's my mount of possession, hallelujah. It's my mount of possession, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, from the 23rd verse. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. It's the hour for us to take the bread and get ready to break it. Because when you get it, you hold it until I give the signal. Remember, the significance of it is the breaking of the bread. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the body of the Lord Jesus that was broken for us. Thank you that he became us and we were in him.
told us to eat his flesh and drink his blood and have life in us. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving of yourself. Thank you. But we are all one brain. We will never be broken again. And today we do this in remembrance. We break this bread in remembrance. In Jesus' name. Amen. So when you get your bread, you break it and eat it. How many of you have gotten your bread already? Yeah. Just a few more. Where is DSA? I thought you were singing that song out.
Yeah, the song will continue. But after the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. These two years after, as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we thank you for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed for us, for the remission of sins. Thank you for this cup of the New Testament in the blood of Christ. Thank you because we have a new relationship that those in the old covenant never knew. Thank you for this rich fellowship that we have in Christ Jesus. Thank you for the life you've given us through the blood of Christ. And as we drink this cup today, everyone here, everyone participating with us around the world and in the churches of Christ in this moment, thank you that their sins are washed away. Their hearts are made pure. They're cleansed of all unrighteousness by virtue of this blood of Christ shed for us. Thank you for this blessed remission of sins and the life that we have. Purified, sanctified, cleansed, Thank you, Lord. We drink this cup in remembrance. Amen. Go ahead and drink it. Hallelujah. Praise God.
if you're still serving in your particular congregation please continue until everyone's got it don't stop until everyone's got it hallelujah did you know that when you take the communion it is more powerful than any any medicine now there are a lot of people who don't know that when you take the communion you are not only fellowshipping the body and blood of Christ you are taking real medicine into your body this is true so when you take the communion understand that it's got curative powers understand it no growth can survive in your body when you take the communion with understanding no cancer can survive in your body when you take the communion with understanding no disease no infirmity can survive in your body when you take the communion with understanding so as you take this communion today have the understanding that you're taking this bread this cup with an extraordinary curative power doesn't matter what the condition has been what it has to do with your lungs your kidneys your heart your stomach it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't matter what it is now that you understand because understanding is important the Bible says get wisdom right it says wisdom is what the principal thing therefore what get wisdom and then it says with all I get him get what understanding why did the seeds that fell by the wayside get picked up by Satan says the birds of the air picked them up and Jesus said that was the devil that stole the word out of the heart of the one who heard it what was the problem Jesus said because they did not understand the message so Satan stole the word out of their heart so the word ate at their heart but because they didn't understand it they lost it when you receive God's word with understanding it produces divine results so now you understand that that bread that you just took that drink you just got in the communion is more potent than any drug in this world it is more potent so once you have taken it you say I'm fine now <laughs> hallelujah you are fine now you are healed now you are well now things are changing fast changing fast changing fast hallelujah thank you lord glory hallelujah amen praise god you may be seated hallelujah 
Thank you, Lord. I trust that in most congregations they've rounded off on uh, serving the communion. Got some very important announcements to make. But before then, let's let's give our offering to the Lord, and so we can also pray over the offerings and the various givings that you did in the month of January. So right now, you can give an offering to the Lord. There are details on the screen, and. Uh, There may be instructions given to you in the congregation right in the church where you are so follow whatever instructions are given to you in the church right now but there are some details you can use for your online giving right now the orchestra will play a number while we're doing it
Thank you very much. That's nice for clapping, but hope you also give the offering. All right. Um, we're going to pray over the offerings and also uh, pray over all your giving in the past month. Then today, the first fruits offerings began. Uh, many give their first fruit offerings in the services today. And in the month of February, you have an opportunity to give your first fruit offerings to the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the opportunity to honor you with our tithes and our offerings. Thank you for blessing your children. Thank you for all their giving, including their special seeds in the month of January. We thank you for also teaching them the word and inspiring them to understand your message on giving and receiving. And so for their first fruit offerings, grant a multiplied harvest of blessings according to your word. On their tithes, on their offerings, on their seeds of faith, granting them their expectations Cause their faith to produce the results because they trust in you. Thank you for this multiplied harvest. Thank you for increasing the fruit of their righteousness. We invoke the offerings, tithes, seeds to the power of God to cause them to multiply for the furtherance of the gospel around the world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen, praise God. Amen, congratulations. Yeah, because you have surely received special blessings on your giving. Hallelujah. You know, there's, there's great pain going throughout the world of course engineered by certain people the shortage going throughout the world because of the wicked plans of some but no matter how it is done, no matter who it affects, it will not affect you. You will ride upon all the circumstances and situations. You will ride upon all. Your experience will be that you are not aware of that thing. You are not aware of that shortage. You will only know because they said so. That they are having it. You will only know because you heard that they, are, they said they are having a problem. But you will not be in their problem. Lift your hand. Say I'm the seed of Abraham. No lack for me. No shortage for me. I live and dwell in absolute blessings. Continually. Continually. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Now, this year, 
is the year of what? The prolific church. And we're taking the word of God to the ends of the earth. Last year, we reached a lot of people. We're going to reach even more this year. But beyond reaching people, we would have a penetration of the gospel into homes, into the deep places, into their offices, everywhere. We're taking the word into every man's world. To every man's world is one part. Into every man's world is deep. There's no hiding place. And we want them to now learn the word of God. We're going to teach them the word. And one of our tools for teaching the word of God is Rhapsody of Realities. Rhapsody of Realities. And in the world today, this is the most extraordinary tool because it's the only tool in all the world that is in every man's language throughout the world. And it is so important because right away we can see the fulfillment of the words of Jesus when he said that this gospel will be published in all the world. It is being done right now to Rhapsody of Realities. And what we want to do is take it into the streets or homes in every nation fill the world in these languages I'm not sure whether many of you are aware about the Braille version which is Rhapsody of Realities for the Blind those who are unable to see with the optical eyes we have a rhapsody of realities in braille in many languages and it is continually increasing we're leaving nobody out so we have for children of every level for youths, for adults, no one is left out. No one should be left behind. Right? So this time, have your plan for this 2023 partnership with the gospel. What are you going to do? How are you going to make it special for someone to receive Rhapsody of Realities in the language they understand? In the language they understand. So this is very important and we really expect every pastor to press this home, press it home to all the brethren let them know how important this is everyone should help at least one other person do it according to your capacity help one other person get rhapsody you may even get one free but get for someone else Nobody that can do that. Make an effort. Some of you can get Rhapsody for five other people. Some of you for 20 other people. Some of you for 100 other people. And there are those who are getting Rhapsody for 500 other people. Some, 1,000 other people. 
and yet some are doing it for a hundred thousand others some are doing it for over a million people individuals who pay for one million copies of Rhapsody to go to a million people around the world at least begin from somewhere and God will increase your capacity and the next time you find you're able to maybe even double it maybe even do more but begin immediately and see yourself as helping another person get Rhapsody so you have your own Rhapsody and you have for someone else or other people and you can decide that a whole city when we say we want to flood a city with Rhapsody and you say I want to be responsible I want to be responsible some cities are just 500,000 people some cities are 2 million people some are less 300,000 some are even much less less than a hundred thousand people a whole city and you can say I want to give Rhapsody of Realities to that whole country so in a month you are responsible for a whole city a whole city's Rhapsody think about that and who knows maybe some of you who want to be responsible for a whole community for one year yes you can remember the Lord is coming soon what do you want him to find you doing so take that very seriously and when you go to our Rhapsody of Realities website you have a lot of information on our reach out world this is reach out world 2023 and on the 31st of the month of March into the 1st of April or 2nd of April we have a very special program yeah 2nd of April and I'm going to be sharing specially with you and praying with you now reach out world extravaganza hallelujah okay all right all right let me get you smiling a bit I've got can you imagine can you imagine can you imagine can you imagine the other day the other day what, what happened the other day it was uh, uh, pastor Ernest pastor Ernest's daughter got married in in Ghana I don't know something's happening in Ghana you know something seems to be happening in Ghana in in she got married to this gentleman in Ghana with a Ghanaian name you know and that was after Sharon took us to Ghana so we have married Ghana can you see that that's wonderful that's amazing now 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 guess what praise I'm making a praise <laughs> Praise are making us getting married to Pastor Enoch Boama again in Ghana. That's wonderful. But of course, uh, I'm conducting that wedding, so it's taking place at the RCA in Lagos. Praise God. Wonderful, wonderful. Something is happening in Ghana, right? Praise God. Ah, Pastor Enoch. <laughs> okay, so that got you smiling and even laughing. You're very happy. 
And I can imagine Reverend Tom right now blushing. I can imagine. I can imagine Reverend Tom. Are you still looking at the camera? I wish I put a camera right there in Abuja just to look at Reverend Tom's face. <laughs> oh Lord. Pastor Ennis was wearing dark shades during the wedding. He wore dark shades because tears were coming out. Reverend Tom, you don't do that. I was smiling and happy. And even prophesying. Ha ha ha. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right. What a moment. The date is July 8. July 8. Saturday, July 8. So, mark your calendar. It's going to be special. Very special. Praise God. Ah, don't they look wonderful? But praise is really pretty. What do you think? Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay. Now we've got Rhapsody of Realities in the various categories available for the month of February for early readers. And then you got for kids, volume 129 is available. And then uh, for the teenagers, Rhapsody of Realities TiVo is ready for our wonderful teenagers. And then for the, for the older ones, because the, the, the teenagers don't like us saying adults because they are adults. So, Rhapsody of Reality is for the older ones. <laughs> we have them available. So make sure to get your Rhapsody if you don't have it yet. Get it. It's very good for evangelism. Always have copies with you when you go to work, when you're in the, in the bus, when you're on the plane, when you go to the shop. Have Rhapsodies that you can give out. Very important. They may pretend they don't want to read it. They will read it. They will read it. Give it to them. They will read it. And please remember, we've got the Healing to the Nations magazine for the month of February. Beautiful testimonies. So make sure to get yours and also to share with others. See, we're coming out with lots of materials to make sure the gospel goes out to everyone. And then we've got the Love Tunes comics for kids. This is quite an interesting topic here. This is our title here. This time tomorrow. This time tomorrow. Something about it in the Bible. It's there in the Bible. But this is for kids. Love turns. Hallelujah. So do you remember today's message for the month? It's the month of what? And uh, Pastor, Pastor K, you were in, you were in, uh, in India just a short while ago before you came here. And you told me lots of beautiful things are happening in India. Right? Yes. Wonderful. And you had meetings with 
lots of pastors over there. Yes, sir. Now, we have uh, three different groups there. There, there are two in, in a different uh, zone, right? Yes, sir. But there's one in your region, yes, sir. and that's Pastor Isaac Agoa, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, um, he's done a, an extraordinary work, and he's been here from the beginning of his Christian walk. Thank God for what the Lord has done with him. And we've come to the point where our work in India must now expand, and that group is now a zone, and Pastor Isaac is a new zonal pastor. Christ the Mercy. That one is called Christ the Mercy India. That's the name it uses, right? But he's now the zonal pastor. Yes, sir. Congratulations. You, sir. That's a new zone in your region. Congratulations. So we have a, a new zone in India. Wonderful. So in this year of the prolific church, I can imagine what's going to happen in India. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. So I did tell you we have um, a few, few changes in some, some cities. We haven't uh, made these announcements, but we shall. Um, after the MBTC for Johannesburg, uh, Delta State, Nigeria, and a few other places. Yes. Delta State, Worry. That's Worry is in Delta State, right? Okay. Glory to God. We're going to do our closing song. And it's a medley. So we have medley three today in closing which means the praise continues right and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ stand up on your feet as we pray No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No evil shall befall you. In your going out and in your coming in, none of your steps shall slide. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but that will not come nigh you. You are protected in your going out and your coming in. Everywhere you go, the Lord is with you and is mightier than all. Is greater than all and his blessings are upon you and in you and everything you put your hands upon to do will prosper in the name of the Lord Jesus and the Lord shall magnify you and magnify himself in you from this time forth in the name of the Lord Jesus health in your home health in your home prosperity in your home peace in your home love in your home in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And this grace continues to be multiplied in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your hands and thank him. Thank him. Thank him.
around the world. Despite the opposing forces, the Church of our Lord Jesus prevailed and drowned the voices of the wicked. And now, 2023 is the year of the prolific church. The church shall spread throughout the earth unhindered because the church shall proliferate Uh, first fruit um, offerings. So if you have not given your first fruit offering, uh, we are having another service next week so you could plan towards that. Praise the Lord. So there's going to be a certification course, a early certification course for children, church teachers, and coordinators uh, holding on Saturday the 4th, which was yesterday. We have another one on 11th, 18th, and 25th of February. So all children's church teachers and coordinators should take note of the training uh, program. Praise the Lord. And uh, we have uh, birthdays to celebrate today. Hallelujah. Uh, so we have the esteemed sister Neye. Could you kindly rise up to your feet and step forward so we could have the church pray for you. And everyone else that has celebrated their birthday in the last week, you could kindly step forward as well. Thank you so much, Pastor Sir. Praise the Lord. Where's your supporter? Please come and join your wife. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say amen. Say amen. I want to stretch my hands. Can we rise on our feet? Let's stretch our hands towards, towards them. If you're one of those out celebrating your birthday, I want you to come forward. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray. For, just stretch your hands towards them and pray for them. Pray for them. Just go ahead and I want to hear you. You're not praying. I want you to pray for them. And the Rokon Veraton Severata Sharabondas Maron do Grosco Vahataliga Sarinas. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, I thank you for everyone standing here who celebrated their birthdays. Oh, I about to celebrate their birthdays. Lord, we celebrate them. We celebrate them. We celebrate the life that you're giving to them. We well, thank you, O oh God, because. You put yourself on the inside of them and you made them great and powerful. Lord, we give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I pray for them, oh God, that your wish of going trying to walk in them mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Understanding of the scriptures, the word is granted them in the name of Jesus Christ. Maros sovrahata la crundos antele risivaratia zevrando crun zobrahata kina non zobrande levraske variza. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that whatsoever they have to do prospers in the name of Jesus Christ. But I thank you, O oh God, because they are of the kingdom, they belong to the kingdom. And wherever they go, they carry the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Your blessing continue to matter them in the name of Jesus Christ. They continue to walk in the blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, O oh God, all their days are filled with plenty. In the name of Jesus Christ, and all their heart desires are granted them. In the name of Jesus, their head and shoulder above their equals. In the name of Jesus Christ, this one will not feel when he comes. In the name of Jesus Christ, once there's a casting down out there, there's a lifting up for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I bless them with your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
bless you with your grace in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your hand is upon them mightily. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We honor your name. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name. And amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. On the 17th of this month, praise God, on the 17th, sorry, on the 18th, pardon me, we'll be having prayer camp in church for 4 p.m. That's on Saturday, 4 p.m. We'll be in church. We're going to be prayer camp. Say amen. amen. Someone's asking, what's prayer camp? Come, you'll find out what prayer camp is. And that will be on the 18th. So clear your schedule to come to church. You know, and I will also advise you to come fasting. Just come fasting and spend some time to pray. It's going to be long prayers. So um, just to let you know. And that's why it's a camp. So we're going to pray. And we're going to do a lot of that this year. Praise God. A man of God has told us, we'll pray. And we must pray. Praise the Lord. Then on the, on the, um, on the 19th, we'll be having supernatural speed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, if we're not here in 2021, you might not understand. But if we're here, I said there's going to be supernatural speed. Glory to God on the 19th of February. So we'll start working on that and publicity as well. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, the, the youth, uh, youth ministry, please wait, wait behind to see me because we have a program coming up on the 14th. And also um, um, for the leaders, uh, please also wait because we have healing stream coming. Uh, this minutes are going to be like five minutes, ten minutes. We just have point seven people and what their responsibility are towards these programs. Praise the Lord. And then we'll start working from there. Hallelujah. Have a blessed week. God bless you. God bless you.